Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. Um, today I want to talk about um, some new features I've added to the plugin. Uh, I've made Ngon Pro. Um, if you're not if you're not already uh, been watching my channel, you might not know what it is. If you have, you've probably heard me talk about it way too much. Now, Angon Pro is a plugin I made for Blender primarily for my own use cases once I started using plasticity. And the purpose of it is just to get Angon based meshes, such as this one, um, optimized and ready for uh, game engines and texturing software. Uh, without having to repeat lots of tasks over and over and over again. So for example, the first thing that you do when you bring something in from another 3D software is you might notice that it's on its side. So the first thing is instead of keyboard shortcuts, you can rotate it. I mean the keyboard shortcuts don't take up much, but one click is better than three. So this has a low and high poly workflow. You can watch my other videos um, on how that works and um, re renaming conventions. There's another uh, video with a full overview. In this one, I just want to do a quick um, overview of my latest uh, features. So um, I've added this refine panel and I've actually rearranged everything so it's more in the order of uh, you would do things. So you first you rotate your objects then you can merge your vertices, okay, reduce them down. If you turn on scene statistics, um, up here you'll see the actual number of vertices uh, that your object has after modified. This is just a little bit of a visual indicator to show you um, uh, how many the object had prior to being uh, optimized um, or after it was optimized. So in that case we lost I don't know, a couple of hundred verts. Now, in this case, most of the new tools in this refine panel are to do with the low poly. Okay, so if we click create low poly, it obviously adds all the modifiers to every object. Um, now, what I found myself doing is it automatically adds this 35% um, ratio for the decimate modifier. So I made this um, refine panel so I can get, if I wanted to get a little bit more, like if I was going for a mobile game, I'd probably bring it down to something like that. Um, and then you can toggle the wireframe on and off, okay, to see what your wireframe is. So you get um, updated live, what, what kind of details your object is gonna have. And you will lose a little bit of detail here and there. Um, for lower poly, if you're baking your meshes, it doesn't always matter. Um, it depends on the kind of game you're making, but I would normally stick for game engines around about 35%. However, if we come down to very uh, small objects like this, like that. Okay, so this very small object, obviously at 35%, um, is not uh, doing a hell of a lot. So what we can do is we can then bring that back up to 100 because it's barely any polys at all. We can select all of these and we can paste the detail to those, okay? And that's also great for these wheels, for example. So if we come down to these wheels, okay? And the active one will be the one that updates here. So we just wiggle that around until we've got a little bit more detail. Something like that. We want it to, want it to still be round, okay? And we don't want it to lose uh, its form like that. So you want the, the lowest that you can get while still maintaining form. And then that's about 0.52. Now we just need to paste that to all of those. And you can also, because of the wireframe toggle, obviously you can do that by going over here and turning wireframe on and off, but having everything all in one place just makes the whole process quicker. I ultimately want to be, have Angon Pro uh, just the only panel that you would need to use for this, these kind of uh, optimizations without having to do anything else. But as I use it more and more, I find things arise. Okay, once again, we just want to, excuse that, that's my air conditioner in the background. Make sure it maintains its form and then we can paste the detail to all of these. Okay, this one up here probably doesn't need much. We can probably bring that further down. And then we just turn our wireframe off and see what we've got. And actually, maybe I would want a little bit more detail on that okay so we'll hide that um, let's 
gone out of that group, so we're just going to hide that. And minimize our backup and data um, files. Uh, and then I've got this other one over here, this uh, large Zeppelin. Okay, same again, we can create a low poly. Okay, and we can mess with our um, and rotate it obviously. So obviously this one's a little bit different. So you want a bit more detail but it really depends on what you want. Now I've made a mistake here so we're going to go back. We're going to use the remove modifiers and backups. Remove suffix from active. Okay. And rotate it and then add the low poly. Okay, but we need to get rid of this uh, low group. Okay, there we go. So what we've got there is our... And we can add our detail as needed. Now the reason I want to show you this one is because sometimes when you're making a game um, or something like that, you only want part of it to be highly detailed because the, the back end might not even be visible. So if we go into x-ray mode and just select these faces only, we can click this button, exclude faces from decimation, okay, which means they will maintain their detail. So as I reduce the detail of the object, you'll see the back end is not as detailed. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that and find a, I've got a better example of how that would work. We've got this gun turret that I've often used as an example because this is a very good example. So this one will be able to show off all of the deep, um, all of the new features. So rotate the object, create the low poly, and here we've got it. This is, I would have just initially had this as the main um, object before. Now for this, we might want a little bit more detail. Okay, so we can just do that. Turn our wireframe on so we can see it and I actually think that's a bit too much detail. Okay, so we bring this right to back down to about there, three, two, three, one, something like that. Okay, and then what we can do is go into side mode, go into x-ray mode, edit mode, select our faces, just expand the selection, okay? and exclude faces from decimation, okay? And then when we go back into uh, object mode, you can see that the front of this gun has all the details, but as we go back, it's got a bit less details. So if we look at our wireframe, you can see all the details are there, um, and it's a lot more high poly, and as we come back, um, we've got that lower poly area. Now you might have use cases for that, parts of your model that have uh, detail where uh, the triangulation and data transfer aren't quite working so you just want to uh, keep it as is and and maybe reduce the areas um, where you don't. Now um, if you want to um, uh, remove that um, you can either just remove it from the modifier stack or you can just click this button um, to start again. So once uh, that's done, you'll see that once it updated, that's gone red, you can get rid of it or you can start again. So for example, if I just invert my selection there and I just want to select a few more areas in there to be covered and we'll go exclude faces from decimation. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so looking at that, the whole gun part is in detail and the round part is uh, not, okay? And then, um, just coming over to these, we can select all of these one by one. Now I find these gentle curves or gentle spherical shapes don't need a lot of detail. Um, so you can actually bring the detail of those right down on that object here. Just something like that. And then just paste the details. And because there's a lot of objects, you'll notice up here that we do gain, um, so at the moment we've got 414 vertices, paste the detail, and then we've gone down to 176. And then if we turn our wireframe off, you'll notice that we haven't actually lost our surface that much. And then with uh, these parts, we could do something similar. I probably would have joined these all parts together. 
And then we can just get something like that for our low poly. Paste the detail and they're all matching. And then for the rest of it, select all of them. Make sure there's an active object, paste the detail and turn our wireframe off. Unhide this guy. I actually think that's a little bit low. Something like that. And then we can reduce the detail on this guy and paste the detail to that one. And actually probably even need to reduce that a bit more. Okay, so that is just some refinement tools for Engon um, Pro. Link in the description. Like and sub if you aren't already um, or don't. And see you in the next one. And uh, this update will be available on all the marketplaces. Uh, Blender Market, ArtStation and Gumroad.